guys, y'all got to get this. Y'all really, 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 really have to understand this. Y'all spend so much time and energy and, 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 and emotion and psychological power on a, wom a woman, right? who is degrading you, who's belittling you, who's trashing your name, who talks bad about you. She's trifling. You know she's no good for you, yet you stay there. It is so ridiculous. You guys say you want a good woman, but yet on the flip side of that, you stay with one that treats you like shit. You don't want a good woman if you stay with one that treats you like shit. Like for real, like make it make sense, y'all. It, it's so disheartening to see you guys going through all this anguish and, and, and this turmoil, right? And all this abuse, but yet you're not doing, you're not doing shit about it. You stay there. When are y'all gonna realize that you have to wake up, get a backbone and get the fuck away from her? Baby, it's not even about whose fault it is. It's about the people coming to a common ground. But nine times out of ten, the men will come to a common ground with the woman. But on the other side of that, the woman doesn't want to come to a common ground with the man. And besides that, we have support systems all across the globe. We have uh, magazines, we have blogs, we have TV shows, we have our mothers, brothers, aunties, cousins that we can go to. But when men speak up and when men go to someone, they get talked about. And where do you get that women aren't allowed to show emotion? Who's told you that? Who lied to you and told you that? So you mean to tell me that you hold your emotions in? You don't express your emotions based on the fact that you're a human being and that you actually feel things? If that's the case, then that's a you thing, sweetheart. You have to get people around you that you trust that you can show that emotion to. I'm just wondering, what is it that you're basing this 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 comment on right here, sweetheart? Because from my understanding, women are always able to show their emotions, but men aren't because it's looked down upon. Correct me if I'm wrong and enlighten me. And um, if you would like to go live, if you would like to call and speak with me, I'm open to that, sweetheart. But um, I would like for you to really reread your statement. Ladies, public service announcement. Head and physical intimacy is not a Father's Day gift. It's an additive. Make sure you get him something else. You should have already had something sent in or you should have already gotten something from the store. You know what, guys? I feel like this is the perfect moment for you to sit back and think about what you really want out of life, what you really want for yourself. You put her first in everything you do. You put her career first. You put her health first. You put her emotional wellness first. You put her physical intimacy needs first. When are you going to stop putting everybody else in front of you? When are you going to stop putting her in front of you? You, you want to thrive. You have these business ventures that you want to do. You have these goals that you want to accomplish, but yet you cannot accomplish them because you keep on putting her first. Yet she shits on you. She talks shit about you. She talks down on you. She degrades you. She belittles you. She disrespects you. And you wonder why you can't get ahead. You wonder why you depressed. You wonder why your mind is going in so many different directions. It's because you're for her all the time, but she's for you 1.1% of the time. So how is that a partnership, guys? How is that a partnership? She says that she says that she honors you. Tell me. Tell me. How, how does she honor you? She says she respects you. Tell me how she respects you. She dishonors you and she disrespects you, yet you always show up for her. You always put her first. You put her on this pedestal. You talk so highly of her when you're around other people, but yet every single chance she gets, she shits on you. Some of y'all have to read. You know what, guys? I feel like this is the perfect moment for you to sit back and think about what you really want out of life, what you really want for yourself. You put her first in everything you do. You put her career first. You put her health first. You put her emotional wellness first. You put her physical intimacy needs first. When are you going to stop putting everybody else in front of you? When are you going to stop putting her in front of you? You you want to thrive. You have these business ventures that you want to do. You have these goals that you want to accomplish, but yet you cannot accomplish them because you keep on putting her first. Yet she shits on you. She talks shit about you. She talks down on you. She degrades you. She belittles you. She disrespects you. 
and you wonder why you can't get ahead. You wonder why you're depressed. You wonder why your mind is going in so many different directions. It's because you're for her all the time, but she's for you 1.1% of the time. So how is that a partnership, guys? How is that a partnership? She says that she says that she honors you. Tell me. Tell me. How, how does she honor you? She says she respects you. Tell me how she respects you. She dishonors you and she disrespects you. Yet you always show up for her. You always put her first. You put her on this pedestal. You talk so highly of her when you're around other people. But yet every single chance she gets, she shits on you. Some of y'all have to read. Girl, you think that everything is about you. You think that you have to be the center of attention. You ain't even checked on his mental state. You ain't even checked on how he's doing emotionally. You ain't even checked on him to see if he's had a bad day or something's bothering him from his past or something came up about something that had happened previously that has nothing to even do with you. Instead of you checking on him, when he's feeling down and out or when he's feeling depressed or when he's feeling anxious or when he's moody, instead of you checking on him, you automatically go to 100 and you get an attitude. So what you do is you make it worse instead of actually checking on the mental state of that man. That's a lot of y'all's problem. You don't check on him. And on top of that, you gripe, grip and complain and you fuss at him, not even knowing that it's not even you. It's the fact that he's going through something emotionally. How about you ask him instead of always jumping to conclusion? Let me just talk to you for a minute. Okay. You have to understand that the psychological and emotional state that she's in, she is going to continue to self-sabotage and she's also going to sabotage you. You keep on trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. You keep on trying to figure out um, uh, uh, how to help her, but yet you're not even helping yourself. You keep on putting yourself on the back burner while you put her on this pedestal. And, and, and it's not that she needs to earn it, but it's the simple fact that her actions don't even display somebody that needs to be put on a pedestal. You sit up here and, 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 and you uh, 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 appease her and you sit up here and you act like you don't have a backbone. Like a lot of y'all, like guys, a lot of y'all are going through shit that you don't even have to go through. And it's because you have to grow a backbone. The the more you sit up there and try to people please and appease and, and, and do what's best for everybody else, the more you put yourself on the back burner, the more anguish and anxiety and unfulfillment you go through. What is it that you need to fulfill for yourself? What is it that you need to fulfill for your purpose? What is it that you need to fulfill for your for your uh, for your future? And how is it that everybody else's psychological and emotional state is important to you except for your own? You cannot continue to think that you're going to have a better life when you are continuously around people that don't want that for you. You're in an environment that is just sucking you dry. You're in an environment that is just taken away from you. You're in an environment that is sitting up there and causing detriment to you. You are choosing to stay in this environment. Stop blaming everybody else, guys. You have to look in the mirror. The more you look in the mirror, you're, the more you're going to be able to see yourself. The more you're going to going to be able to change things for the better but the more you stay in this in, in this environment with her causing all this turmoil and strife the more she's argumentative the more she sits up there and pokes at the bear and, and provokes you the longer it is going to take you to heal the longer it is going to take you in order to fulfill your goals and you're going to keep on going around the same mountain around the same tree experiencing the same things because your ass don't fucking stand up guys wake up Stand up for yourself. You got to get away from people that are not for you. You got you to get away from that woman that is not for you. It's ridiculous because you guys sit up and you call me and, and I'm telling you guys certain things. And then you call me again and it's like, oh, well, this and this has happened. Oh, because you didn't stand up for yourself. Because you didn't grow a backbone. Because you didn't teach yourself how to be uh, better for yourself and those around you. Guys, you got to take responsibility for your actions. The more you continue to, to not take accountability for your own actions, the more it says a lot about yourself. What emotional state you're in, what psychological state you're in, what childhood trauma and drama you went through that you're choosing to not deal with. Deal with your shit so you can have a better future, guys. Some of y'all stay in marriages and, and, and relationships and connections and committed connections based on the simple fact that it's familiar to you. 
because you didn't get the proper nurturing because nobody has ever showed you how much they really care about you in action. They say they love you. They say they care about you, but yet they don't show you in action and you stay there. You stay there. So then therefore it comes back on you. The detriment comes back on you. The fault comes back on you. What are you going to do with your life? You only get one chance. What are you going to do with your life? What are you doing for your own mental health and wellness? Have a good day. Y'all literally be worried about the wrong thing. You want to know why he can't text you all day at work. Girl, first of all, he's working. Why don't you have a hobby? Did you even make sure that he made it to work? Did you make him a lunch to even take to work? Y'all be worried about the wrong thing. You want him to sit there and be on the phone texting you at work. You jeopardizing his, you jeopardizing his job. You sit up there and be causing scenes on his job. Girl, get a fucking hobby. Learn how to take care of your man. Make him some lunch. Make sure he actually made it to work. You think everything's about you. You so you got your panties up in a bunch when he don't check on you and check and see if you made it home. Check and see if you ate. But yet... You don't even check on them. You ain't made them lunch. You don't cook. What do you do for him that he can't do for himself? Fuck out of here. <laughs> Y'all know what's funny as fuck? <laughs> Some of you bitches are going to be stuck with toys forever because you don't know how to deal with a real man. <laughs> Just say this to you ladies out there that sit up here and you tear your man down in front of people. And not only that, what you do is you sit up there and you paint a bad picture of him. You magnify the things that you feel like he may not have done, but all the good that he's done, you stuff that down. So how is it that you can put all everything bad that he's done up here, but every single good thing is down here. And what happens is you sit up here, you talk bad about him and you degrade him in front of people. And then you come behind his back and act like you haven't said nothing but then he knows how you have spoken about him because of the way the people end up treating him some of y'all don't know when to shut the fuck up but not only that you do you when 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 he needs you to speak up for him you don't do that either what happens is the people around you will paint a picture based off of their own assumptions or what they think he is when in reality he's something totally different than that but you have not spoken up in a positive manner on his behalf therefore the people around you think and speak negatively about him based on the shit that you've said about him know who needs to hear this but only weird bitches think they ain't supposed to submit to their man only weird bitches think they ain't supposed to listen to their man and if y'all getting offended by the word bitch i'm probably talking about you but anyway like i said if you don't want to be submissive to him then why the fuck are you there i have a question for you guys if your spouse wants you to text or call and check in if you're running late or if you're doing something out of your normal routine, do you think that that's okay? Why or why not? Do you realize how valuable you are to a man when you treat him well? Do you realize that sometimes his world could be feeling like it's turned upside down, but when you treat that man well, you respect him, you love him, you cater to him, you shower him with, with love, with genuine love. Do you know how much that can change his day, his week, his month, his whole entire life? Start treating that man better and see where you get after that. I don't know who needs to hear this, but stop posting subliminal messages about your man online thinking that nobody knows who the fuck you're talking about. Fuck. And let me just say this, guys, some of you guys are saying that women that take accountability and women that apologize don't exist. But what is in you that is attracting that? And also what is in you that continues to accept said behavior? A lot of you guys will say things, but then on the flip side of that, you'll still accept that type of treatment. What is in you that is causing you to still allow people to be in your life that aren't taking accountability, that aren't apologizing and that aren't being the woman that you need them to be? What is it with inside of you guys? You guys got to take responsibility for your actions as well, for what you say and what you do, because some of you guys will stay in relationships year after year after year after year, knowing that she treats you like shit, knowing that she treats you like trash. And you have all these different excuses of why you stay. Why do you stay? What's on the inside of you 
guys that causes you to accept <laughs> fucked up treatment from a woman that shows you over and over that she doesn't care about you. Mm. Have a good day. I wanted to talk to y'all today about taking care of yourself mentally and emotionally and psychologically. In the last 24 hours, I have had four guy friends reach out to me and tell me that they're ready to end it all. Like as much as people want to keep going, there is something that is in them that still has those thoughts, right? And so you have to realize that during this time, like a lot of men are going through it. Yes, a lot of people are going through it, but a lot of men are going through it during this time. And what I'm noticing is that the women in their lives are not showing up for them. What I'm noticing is that the women in their lives are actually making it worse. What I'm noticing is that the women in their lives aren't holding up their end of the deal. They want you guys to show up for them emotionally. They want you guys to show up when you're when they're anxious and depressed. They want you guys to show up when 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 finances are at stake. They want you guys to show up every day and make sure your career, your your job happens so that way you can get enough money to pay the bills or splurge on her, or take trips or mind whatever she needs but when it comes to you guys needing the emotional support ladies you guys are dropping the ball you guys are dropping the ball and all these men have women in their lives but yet the women are actually making things worse they're actually basically they're putting the last nail in his coffin without putting the last nail in his coffin and not even knowing it what if they didn't have me to come to what if they didn't have the emo the inner emotional strength or the, the inner uh, psychological uh, a higher psychological capacity in order to keep themselves here? Ladies, you have to understand. Check in on him. Figure out, find out how he's doing. Make sure that you're holding up your end of the deal when it comes to his mental wellness. It's not that he needs you to be his peace. I already told y'all about that. But add some peace to him. Check on him. Make sure he made it to work. Make sure he made it to his destination. Make sure he ate. Make sure he um, uh, drank water for the day. Make sure he's hydrated. Stop always thinking that it's about you. You 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 think so much is about you, and then all of a sudden he didn't offed himself. Like y'all y'all really don't get it, ladies. You think I'm here to bash you? I'm here to encourage you and help you. The delivery may not be like how you want it to, but I'm telling you, day after day after day, I keep men alive. I encourage men. I support men. I uplift men. Yes, I'm silly. Yes, I'm funny. Yes, I tell jokes. Yes, I talk about physical intimacy. Yes, I talk about... <sighs> but at the end of the day, you guys have to realize like, what I'm doing is encouraging. What I'm doing is supporting. And these men, they sit back and they want the person in their lives to take them seriously. They want the person in their lives to see them as important. And ladies, you have to understand, I wasn't always this way. I had to do my work. I had to dig that shit out. I went through stuff as a kid, just like you. I went through stuff when I was an adolescent, just like you. I went through things from a previous partner, just like you. I was married for almost 25 years. I can't tell you how much violence happened in that. And I don't even call it a relationship anymore because it wasn't a relationship. If, if, if all that other stuff was going on, like, but I had to, I had to look inside myself and figure out, Oh, well, even though it didn't work out how I wanted it to, I still had a part in it. I still acted out when I was in that marriage, right? I still acted out in ways that I was that I am not proud of. And it's due to the fact that uh, I went through stuff as a child. I did not have my father. My father was my father was oft. OK, my mother was out of the home. So ladies, you have to realize you can't make excuses. You cannot make excuses for yourself, ladies. Stop making excuses. Oh, well, my mom this and my dad. So what? It's it's not about that. It's about you being an adult and doing your actual work right now to change things for the better for yourself. That way you don't sit up there and make him off himself by being immature, by belittling him, by being degrading, by abusing him, by using him. Step into your big girl panties. Step into your big girl shoes. Step into your big girl era. Since you guys always want to talk about soft girl era, how about you step into your maturity era? How about you step into your womanhood era? Fuck out of here.
Ladies, something that you have to accept and come out of denial of and realize is the fact that sometimes we are the problem. You can't sugarcoat it. There is no way of getting around it. We are the problem sometimes, a lot of the time. And, and you have to understand that once you begin to really look within yourself, then you can fix said problem or said issue. But the more you choose to not go inward, the more problems you're going to have, not only with yourself, not only in uh, connections, but in your relationships. So, ladies, you have to decide whether you want to change for the better or not. Are you going to be a woman of integrity? Are you going to be a woman of accountability? Are you going to be a woman that apologizes? Are you going to be a woman that accepts that you need to change some things for the better within yourself? Or are you going to keep on doing the same shit over and over, expecting different results? That is delusion. Ladies, a lot of you out there are delusional. And it's based on the simple fact that you need to look within yourself and fix some of that shit that you got going on so you could stop blaming him. Yes, and I very well understand that. But you have to also understand it like this. Most of the time when you stay in a relationship of turmoil, what happens is the kids end up suffering even more than if the parents would have dispersed of the connection. So I understand what you're saying. I know you guys, some of y'all stay, say it's cheaper to keep her or I stay for the kids. But at the end of the day, you're sacrificing your happiness. You're sacrificing your well-being. You're sacrificing the happiness and well-being of your children as well. And most times the people that stay said they wish they would have left because of the psychological and emotional damage that it caused on their children. Have a good day.